Hello guys, uh, my name is Claude and uh, tonight I thought about showing you guys how you can do a static uh, 3D star field made out of uh, particles. This is the result. As you see the background, I don't have anything, any objects move in here to just move in 3D space, but you should be able to see the result. There you go. Now you cannot tell in this uh, in the uh, game view that uh, there are particles all around behind you and on the sides. So if you would have a, a 3D object to move into the space, it would look pretty pretty damn cool to see all the stars all around you moving. It gives you a sense of depth and and it looks just cool. Okay, so. In order to do this, uh, I don't know, I made a kind of a slideshow just to see what I have to do. So, you can also do this by creating your own objects and just uh, procedurally uh, placing them in 3D space. The only problem uh, is that you'd have to create all kind of properties for this object when uh, you already have a particle system available that has all these properties for you. Uh, some of the problems with creating a 3D star field with particles is that uh, in Unity the particle system, the, the emitter uh, creates particles constantly. Then you have to keep these particles alive forever. Uh, also you must create this particle system and the particle uh, to emit before the game is drawn so the user cannot see the burst. Also, uh, the particle system, uh, the, I mean the particles, they have to stay alive forever. They cannot die. So, in order to create this, uh, what I can think about now is to create an object to store the particles then create a script for that object and the script access the particle system then put all the particles inside an array so you can access them and uh, basically place them wherever you want and that's what I'm saying here basically alright guys uh, here we are in unity um, I already install installed a skybox uh, with stars. All you have to do is go into the asset store and find uh, search for real stars skybox light and then import it and after you import it it'll show up in uh, in the assets as the real star skybox. Then uh, after that go to window rendering lighting settings and choose from the skybox material uh, choose star skybox 04 because the other ones have the names on the stars this is a real map of the stars uh, seen from the earth and then you have a star skybox okay Alright guys, so here we are in uh, Visual Studio. Um, I just pasted the code that I made a few hours ago. Uh, I'm gonna just, just gonna explain it a little bit. I'm not gonna get too deep into it. But if you write it yourself and you change a few things, you should be able to figure it out. Um, you're gonna need the collections and collections generic because you, you have an array in here that goes uh, there's a loop in here that loops through all the particles so first of all you're going to require the component the particle system since this script is going to sit inside the controller that controls the particles it's going to recognize the only particle system that you have in there um, then um, you access the particle system through an array and then you declare the particle system uh, this integer just checks how many particles are uh, in your system and this boolean checks uh, if the system already ran 
uh, when the game is created. But then you gotta use this uh, method, which is a Unity method, late update instead of update. Uh, I have it right here. So late update basically just uh, is called every frame if the behavior is enabled. Late update is called after all update functions have been called. So if you put this code in, in um, the update function, the regular update function that comes with every class, it's not going to work. Uh, because the, the particle system has to run before the great game is created uh, in order for the, for the user uh, not to see when the system, when the burst is created when all the particles come out of the, the emitter. Okay, uh, this is just a method that sits back, back here and we'll talk about it. Uh, <clears throat> so here you access the particle system. Um, uh, those are the, oh, this is the override for the parameters for the particle system. Um, then you set the particles in the particle system particles and then basically this uh, method is uh, setting the particles to how many particles uh, do you want and then you emit you override the emitter to as many particles that you want but you can also go into the particle system itself in unity where you created the particle system and just change it from there um, then this normal live again is going to be set to how many particles were created okay Uh, and again, this is the boolean that uh, if it's uh, false, then you create the system. Okay, so then it becomes true. Uh, right here. Because you call it once. So in this loop, um, you go through the array, and in the array, you set the position dynamically um, to this this would be x y and z so and myself i mean you can put any uh any numbers in here or you can even put you can set some uh, floats um, to whatever you want so you can just change them up here uh, for example you can put x position minim x position maxim y position minim and so on and so I have mine from 4000 minus 4000 on the left to 4000 on the right and then minus 4000 uh, 2000 on the bottom to 2000 above and the depth is from 1000 to 4000 but you can change the depth to for like if you have a a game that uh, you know completely in space you can put uh, minus 4000 or something like that that you can just drive through the particles uh, and then definitely you have to set the velocity to zero on all three axes because you don't want your stars to move unless you have a, a 3d game where you have snow and you can make this as snow that's moving but in that case you're gonna have to have an emitter and that's constantly making particles and uh, the particles have to die after a while because here we set the particles to infinity basically so and then you said it, it, it ran through uh, to 
so the this uh, method doesn't run more more than once okay and this uh, this method initialize if needed uh, basically checks if the particles uh, exist I'm not gonna get too much into it but that's what it does so it, it's cold up here in the late update okay so this is it I'm gonna just go through it once so you can uh, you can maybe pause it and and copy it or uh, whatever you need to do Alright guys, I changed the settings a little bit, just the size of the emitter box. Uh, in my case, I just put 500 by 500, basically a square cube with a 500 uh, edge, 500 units. <clears throat> uh, the reason I did this is just to, to for you guys to be able to see them better. So let's go into Unity. And uh, if you haven't already, create a particle holder or any any type of em empty object. And to this object, just add the script. Once you add the script, uh, it'll create a particle system automatically for you. So in the particle se uh, settings, just for duration, just put uh, one and make sure you check pre-warm so the particle system is created before the game is created then the lifetime should be just one the speed should be zero so they don't move oh uh, let's see i'm gonna try to put a color on them but i'm not sure if it's gonna show up you can mess around with it and uh, you can create any type of particles you want um let's see the number this is the number of maximum particles created i'm gonna put it to something big let's put it to 10,000. um yeah the random seed should be checked and <clears throat> uh the emission is just if you want them to glow i'm not gonna mess with that you guys can mess with it the shape should be changed from a cone to a rectangle and as is and that, that'd be it, real simple. Let's check it out. And there you go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the, enjoy the tutorial and I hope uh, it is really useful for you. This tutorial can be, I mean, this uh, type of static uh, particles can be used for anything. Uh, basically, let's say you got a forest and you want uh, stuff floating around, you know, like particles floating around. Uh, uh, you can make them transparent and uh, interact with the sun or any other number that you can think of. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, basically I post uh, tutorials once or twice a week. It depends on how much time I got. <clears throat> and I'm only doing this at night. As you can see, I'm pretty tired. Uh, because in the daytime it's pretty noisy in here um, and uh, uh, if you guys like this tutorial give me a thumbs up if you didn't just give me a thumbs down and uh, subscribe and I got uh, quite a few tricks in my pocket because I've been doing this for a long time uh, over 20 years and uh, yeah uh, I will post uh, valuable content to you guys so Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.